guys, welcome back to Chatter with Jessica. And in episode two today, we are going to be discussing body acceptance and how to create a positive body image for yourself. It took me a long time to be able to do this for myself. Throughout the years, I've really learned a lot about how to rewire my thinking about myself. And today I wanna to share with you how I did that, how I taught myself how to rewire my thinking and help create a positive body image for myself and learn to accept my body. Everybody is a 1000% unique. So something that I've learned to think about when I had a hard time looking in the mirror or thinking about me and the things that I like, I would rewire my thinking and I would say something to myself like, there's nobody in the world like you. There is only one Jessica in this world that's like you, and that's you. So anytime I'd look in the mirror and I would feel self-conscious about what I was looking at, I would try to think that and say that to myself so I would understand there's only one you. Embrace that only one you. Everything about you makes you unique. It makes you who you are as a person. And that's something that I've been learning to embrace and rewire the thinking of myself as a person and my outward appearance. Looking in the mirror was really, really hard for me. Anytime I looked in the mirror, I would panic, I would freak out, I would feel really self-conscious about the way I looked, my body shape, how I looked in swimsuits, how I looked in workout clothes. But rewiring your brain to think positive thoughts about yourself, change, I love these shorts, but I hate the way my legs look, to, I don't care, I love these shorts, I'm going to rock them anyway. The rewiring of your brain to positive thinking, the more you do it, the more the confidence will show on your face. And people will see that. They will see the confidence that you have. They would never know that you don't like the way you look in those shorts, or the way you look in those jeans, or the way that top fits on you. The first thing that I had to learn to do to accept my body and myself as a person was rewire my brain to think positively. It's a lot harder than it sounds, but it's something that needs a lot of practice. And it definitely took a lot of work for me to rewire my brain to think positively. It took practice, it took repetition. It's like playing a sport or trying to get better at a hobby. The more you do it, the easier it gets and the better you get at it. So the more you try to rewire your brain to think positively about yourself or certain situations, you'll feel better about it. Like, for the longest time, I hated the way that my body looked in swimsuits, but I tried to rewire my thinking into thinking thoughts like, I love the colors of this swimsuit. I love the style of this swimsuit. I like it, so I'm going to wear it anyway. I've, I've done that a lot. I had to change my thinking with that too. And it's a lot easier for me to walk around wearing certain things because I would say to myself, I like this top. I like these shorts, so I'm going to wear them anyway. I don't care what they think about what I'm wearing. I like it. I chose it. It's my look, and I'm going to rock it anyway. I'm not solely just focusing on women here. I want to target this to the men as well because we all know that both men and women often have issues with body positivity. I mean, I feel like everybody has gone through some sort of body image issues throughout their lives. One other thing that I learned how to do is instead of hating on my body and focusing on the things that I don't like about it, I started thinking about the things that my body does. And, you know, as weird as it sounds, like thanking my body for everything it does, you know? Instead of looking at your legs and thinking, oh, my thighs are so big, I hate my calves, my legs have so much cellulite on them, I would try to look at myself in the mirror and say, thank you legs for helping me to move and do things that I love, like lifting weights or 
going places with my boyfriend or being able to go home and visit my family. Or instead of thinking, I hate the way that my arms look, my arms are way too bulgy or they're not sculpted enough, they're not strong enough. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, thank you for helping me help others and using my hands to do good works, to do the things that I love, to pursue my hobbies, to pursue my passions. Instead of thinking about the things that you hate about your body, think things like this. Think about your heart. Your heart allows you to live and breathe and do the things that you love. Be with the people that you love. Your brain helps you remember everything that you've ever experienced in your life. All the happy memories that you've ever had. All the great things that you've seen or learned. It helps your creativity and your imagination. Ladies, Think about your uterus. Yes, it sounds weird, but think about that. It's something that will help you bear children and bring new life into the world. Thinking things like that about your body instead of the negatives that you're looking at really kind of helps you shape your perspective on our bodies and that they're not just something to be awed or something to be mauled over enjoyed physically. There are so many things that are amazing about our bodies that do not involve our outward physical appearance. And it's amazing. Our bodies are amazing. We can do so many things and we don't have to have rock hard abs. We don't have to have, you know, toned legs or strong arms to do the things that our body is meant to do. Our mouths, they allow us to speak the truth. They allow us to talk to our friends and family, express our emotions, express our feelings, eat our favorite foods. You know, our noses, we wouldn't be able to smell those amazing smells that we can. Our eyes, we wouldn't be able to see the beautiful things in the world. It all starts up here, you guys. It all starts there. You have to rewire your thinking. It's difficult, it'll take some time, but once you're able to get there and really figure it out, it's so great, it's so freeing to have a different mindset on life and different parts about you. So the takeaway here that I want you guys to have is the key to coming to a positive mindset about your body and yourself and your self-image is to rewire your thinking, rewire your brain to think positives. Find the positives in your body, in your personality, in the things that you like. There are positives to everything about you. There's always, always, always positives about you, your image, your body, your life. There's always positives. Find those and rewire your thinking to focus on the positives and it will really, really help improve your self-esteem and your thinking and your happiness. It did for me, and I hope it does for you guys too. Thanks for tuning in to episode two of Chatter with Jessica. And with all my love, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow my Facebook page, you know, check out my YouTube channel. And hopefully you guys will be seeing my first chapter of Let's Play a Game together. I will be working on that tonight once I finish up here. So be sure to check out that and watch me play Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It'll be a fun time and you guys will get to watch me be a spaz. So you guys are awesome. 